Yo, yo, yo what's man. going on out there, fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, man. And I got the Brody Love one, the hate one in the building. Fresh off the Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao fight. You know, let them know what's up, little one. Yeah, y'all already know, man. Your boy Love on the Hate one in here with my brother, Monty Brown TV, man. Make sure y'all hit them lights straight out the gate, man. And at the, at the end of the day, me and Monty would just talk about this shit off air, and we just had to carry this shit to on air. So at the end of the day, the fight was a good fight. Um, but we got different thoughts about the fight, man. Definitely a fight we got to rewatch again. Most definitely. Most definitely, most definitely. But um, good fucking fight. Good fucking fight. That was a, that was a thought, great fight, man. I thought Manny Pacquiao won it. But it was close. I think I think clo- I think closer than advertised money. I'm gonna go on on them and say that. Yeah, I think it was closer than advertised, yo. No, I always said it was a 50-50 fight, man. I leaned towards Keith Thurman. You know, starting yeah. off, you see Manny Pacquiao come out in the first round, body head, put Thurman down on the ground. But even then, when Thurman got up, I knew he was okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I didn't feel like, oh, he's fucked up. He got to get that back because it's the first round. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, right, that's true. and he, he responded. He responded, you know, and they banged it out. I just feel like Thurman got caught up in trying to brawl too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he was trying to get his get back. Yeah, get his get back a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was working though. It was kind of it was kind of yeah. working though. Yeah, because he he, he 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 like you say he felt like he was the bigger man, and he wanted to hold his ground. But sometimes, like you got to outbox the motherfucker too. And I felt like Thurman had Manny Pacquiao in the right position to outbox him that time, but he still, you know what I'm saying, banged it out. You know yeah, hell saying? yeah. And that's that's what Manny Pacquiao wanted. You know, that's what Manny Pacquiao wanted. I seen Thurman hit Manny Pacquiao so fucking hard. And when you hit him, Manny Pacquiao punched himself in the head twice. I say this motherfucker. Listen, I don't even know how Manny Pacquiao took those punches, yo. That tells me that Keith Thurman, all that one-time shit, that shit is out the window now, man. Oh, yeah. For, for you not to be able to at least, I'm not saying stop Manny Pacquiao, but at least you can drop Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao has been... Sh- floored several times in his career and you couldn't drop Manny and shit couldn't even hurt Manny I was like damn Keith Thurman where the fuck is that power at Adrian Brunner said he got cooked who Keith Thurman yeah he said he got cooked he said uh, man Adrian Brunner said it was four in the morning and Keith Thurman was in a fucking casino gambling with him and he said he cussing everybody out Ron talk show what's up Acres home. Believe- what's up? Crazy K, what's going now? I, I believe that shit, too. Here, man. Man, we guys, we're going to do a little short live stream. I'm tired as fuck, but... But, yeah, no, nah, he dead serious, bro. He dead ass serious. He say he cussed everybody out that was with Keith Thurman. He say he called them bitch-ass niggas because it's the biggest fight of his life, and y'all got him down here, down here gambling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's Keith Thurman fault, too. I mean, shit, he, he's a grown man. He's a grown man, facts. You know? Did he overlook Manny Pacquiao though? Um, uh, uh, I I don't know about overlooking because, I mean, this is the biggest fight of his career. I mean, hands down. But I mean, I mean not resting right, bro. You up in here gambling at four in the fucking morning. But then again, yeah. it wasn't the day before the fight. It's not like it. Like if it was the day before the fight, I have a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have a problem. Who knows? Maybe he slept the whole day. And you know how sometimes you can sleep the whole day and you up all night. It's like, damn, man, let's go do something. You know what I'm saying? It's going to definitely do something. Yeah, but I'm going to say this. My assessment of the fight, and I got to watch it again. Crazy case, he thought it was a draw. Vincent Roof, what's good, my brother? He said, what's good, money? I picked many to win. Many looks like he is renewed 
fighter, even at 40 years of age. Marcus the villain says, salute, man. Salute to y'all brothers, man. Salute to y'all brothers. But what I could say this too, Monty. I could say that Keith Thurman kind of got outsmarted a little bit too because I think in the middle of the fight, even the people that was watching the fight in the live stream or on the Instagram or whatever, uh-huh. people, was, people had the nerve to say that Pacquiao was tired in the fifth and sixth round. And it did look that way. But hey. I think Pacquiao was saving gas for them uh-huh. later rounds, yo. Because that's when he turned up and he almost stopped Keith Thurman. And I think it was the tenth round. That can be true. Because you I know? think, even myself, I thought, I'm like, damn, Pac a little tired. And, but now we all Pacquiao, said it. We all said it. Yeah, but Pacquiao's a veteran. So it's like he, he understands what it takes in them in them later rounds. You know what I mean? But Hell even yeah. in the later rounds, Keith Thurman was fighting his ass off. That's yeah, what, that, and, and let me tell you this, man. That's where I really got to come in for Keith Thurman. Because I picked Pacquiao to win the fight. But this is where I really got to come in for Keith Thurman and say, listen here, Keith Thurman, even though he lost, he showed me some things, yo. He showed me that he could adjust to Manny Pacquiao because that's what he did. And, yeah, you're right. Thurman wasn't – he was really trying to brawl it out a lot with Manny Pacquiao. But when Thurman was trying to box, when he tried to box – May Pacquiao couldn't fuck with him, man, when he tried to box. I think May I think Keith Thurman was just embarrassed from that 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 fucking knockdown in the fucking first round. He got up smiling, looking like he was fucking embarrassed. And then he just tried to get Manny back down on the ground. I mean, well, he never dropped Manny, but you he tried to get yeah, get back. He tried to get the get back. Salute Marcus the villain. T down say Keith Thurman just don't look the same. He lost, and that's pretty much it. Golden Glove say, shit, Keith got a glass body. Earl will have a field day. Marcus oh, Vincent, hell he, yeah. He still oh, has hell yeah. by them body shots. But Manny hit him with that body shot. Like, he took his mouthpiece out. I say, God damn. But this is the thing, though, man. This is the thing. Um, Keith Thurman, I, I ain't going to say he didn't look the same in this fight, but he looked at – he, he, he thought he looked good, yo. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't look bad to me. Like he thought it to me, he looked good, yo. If you take, if you take away the knockdown, and you take, even though we can't do this, so I don't even. I shouldn't be saying this because you can't do it. You can't do it. But if you really think about this, man, let's be real. If you take away the knockdown and Keith Thurman getting hurt, you can argue that Keith Thurman looked great, not great, but sensational. I mean. He looked good. He was landing some hard, meaningful they, shots on Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, and he they, outlanded Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, they brought it out. They brought it out. Like, like I say, keep time, he could have been he could have been smarter in the ring, but at the same yeah. time, I understood it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I say that's what goes by you putting your foot in your mouth, bro. When you say things like I'm gonna knock him out and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You put more you, on yourself. Yeah, yeah, and it take you out the, the mindset of boxing and shit like that. So right. it, it, it was a good fucking fight. Like I said, that was a classic, bro. That was a classic. So that was definitely a classic. And yeah. shit, we, we can argue. Well, they can argue fight of the year. It Man, was a lot of good it's, fights it's, this it's, year. It's a, um, it's a candidate. You can't lie. It's a big ass fight. It's a candidate. And like I said, I gotta watch it over. You know, me looking at all the damn comments and Looking at the fight, but even with me looking at all the comments and still looking at the fight, I still felt like Manny Pacquiao won that fight. You know what I'm saying? I felt I, like I Manny thought, Pacquiao won that fight. I thought Pacquiao won the fight too, but it was some fights, like I said. Listen, the fight, it was favoring Keith Thurman going towards the end because this is how I had it. I thought Manny Pacquiao, like the first four rounds, I gave that to Manny. Maybe, maybe even the first three. Then I had Keith Thurman, like, in the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Keith Thurman was low-key beating Manny Pacquiao's eyes in the mid-rounds, yo. I, I remember seeing that. And then what kind of put the exclamation point on Manny Pacquiao winning the fight was when he hurt Keith Thurman in that 10th round with a body shot and knocked out his mouthpiece. I'm like, okay, that, that kind of gave it away now for me. Keith Thurman, like, oh, shit, because yeah. you can argue – you can argue that's two 10 8 rounds right there. You can argue that's two 10 8 rounds. And yep. then we and we have to say this. We all know May Pacquiao didn't lose every other round other than the knockdown round. So 
Manny Pacquiao. And, but you know what's crazy to me? Manny Pacquiao. I mean, Keith Thurman still outlanded Manny Pacquiao. Mm-hmm. Even with Manny Pacquiao out jabbing Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they're saying Keith Thurman landed the more power punches. And he, he landed at a higher percentage. You know what I'm saying? He landed man, more true. power punches at a higher percentage. Yeah, man. And then if you that notice, <laughs> if you notice too, as the fight started going on, Thurman adjusted to Manny Pacquiao so much, Manny Pacquiao started having problems landing that left straight. Yeah. The, I like, was like, especially when he caught him with the body up to the head with the with the punch he knocked him out with. Manny Pacquiao, he was kept trying to land that too. And I see Keith, you know, sidestepping that shit. Yeah. Keith, he's a, I give him that. Like, he knows how to adjust. And I, I'm telling you, as I'm watching the fight, I'm like, why the fuck Manny Pacquiao can't land? Why he's not throwing another left straight? Why he's not throwing left straight really like that no more? Because he couldn't really land it. I think Keith Thurman had that left straight on lock after the first round. And that's why May Pacquiao had to switch it up and he started going downstairs. And May Pacquiao was even throwing the right hook. Yeah, that's true. So I was like, listen, I ain't, I ain't follow all black. I ain't with all that juice shit. We uh, we watched the fight, you know, with no volume. And yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't with all that juice shit. I, I know people go want to say this and say that. My man, main man, he pissed off too. You know, he's saying he going on a rant. Main man say he, he opening up an investigation. Look, salute the mini Pacquiao, bro. Salute the mini Pacquiao. Pacquiao went in there. He got the job done. He was the better man. He got his hand raised. Keith Thurman gave a hell of an effort. A hell of a hell of an effort. Like I said, it was a split decision. I got to I gotta go back and look at the score course and see what the score course was. Mm-hmm. But it was a split decision. It, it, it could have been a draw. It could have went Keith Thurman away. You know what I'm saying? 115, 113 many. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You can't call that. You know what I'm saying? That, it, it, it that's still no a close fight. That's still a close point. fight. It was some swing rounds in there, too. We can't forget about those swing rounds. Vincent, it was Rousseau, like Mike. three. Go ahead. Go go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. No, nah, I was just going to read. Vince Bruce said, Monty, did Keith look like he was turned out towards the end, in your opinion? I couldn't tell. No, towards nah, the end. I thought to he was me, he did it. No, that's all I'm about to say. I thought he was finishing strong, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Now in that in the twelfth round, um, he was winning. But it's like some like love one say it was some swing rounds and I with Keith. He'll be doing good early on, and then many will come with a big ass hurrah on him and shit. Uh-huh. And he, you know what I'm saying? And it looked like he'll let many still a goddamn round from him, which was kind of pissing me off a little bit. I'm like, God damn, Keith. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Was at it, so, yeah, real like. Shit like that, and that's what I meant. Like when you win like that, then you start boxing his ass. He could have, you know, what I'm saying he could have did some. Um, he could have won around easy if he'd have boxed after he, you know, had that good thing going. Fernando Guatia say personally, I think the fight could have been a draw if Keith didn't get dropped. But either way, this fight made me like Keith even more. I can I can respect that question. So now, what does it mean for the what's way division? What's next in your prediction? Well, first you got to see what a happens. Rematch. They gonna, they gonna get a rematch, bro. They gonna. I think Pacquiao and Thurman gonna rematch. I think. I think. I think Pacquiao trying to get the win of Porter and Spence. Or I, I. I don't know if he's see. This is the thing. I think that's the more dangerous route. Yo, is taking the Spence. Even though I would love to see that fight, Pacquiao versus Spence. But I think to be more safe, money. To be more on the safe side, they'll rematch Thurman. Because you got, because think about possibility. Yeah, but look, look, listen to this though. Even if Thurman, even if Pacquiao do lose to Thurman in the rematch, it's like okay, we can just get the third fight popping. So it's like it's kind of like the more safe route is to go the Thurman route. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like they understand. Like now, like say for instance, if if Spence get past Porter. They yeah. know, like many pack out for the money as well. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. So he understands that that big ass fight was Spence in Texas. You know, uh uh-huh. That's belts. true too. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's a big ass fight, and, and you know Spence, one of the top welterweights too. So yeah, don't get course. me wrong though. I'm not saying that Thurman rematches out. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah. If I was Thurman though, I probably would have tried to slide me a rematch in the motherfucking contract. You know what I'm saying? I, Instead of being I too damn stuck in I'm America. A- I'm gonna be honest with you. It, it, it I, was I, a rematch on Manny Pacquiao's side. 
Mm, 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 mm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's what I was saying. Uh, Manny Pacquiao got him a rematch in the con in the contract. That's why when it, when they were saying that shit, I'm like, oh, so Thurman don't got a rematch in the clause. Yeah, Thurman don't got a rematch in the contract. Like when you go look at the interview, he was telling right. you how Manny Pacquiao. That's why he was saying if you win, we don't know if you go fight Earl Spence because Manny Pacquiao got him a rematch clause in the contract. You know. Okay. Also, oh, Pacquiao can run with this win then. Yeah, Pacquiao got the yeah. That's why I said I gotta go watch the um. I heard they call out Earl Spence at the end too. Oh well, then he if he called out Errol Spence at the end, then it's no plans for a Keith Thurman rematch. Keith Thurman yeah, just like gonna have to hold that L. Like they wanted the winner. Uh, and the way Keith, Thurman, but I can still see the Pacquiao versus Thurman. Going. I can see I can still see the Pacquiao versus Thurman fight doing well in numbers though, probably even more. But the thing about it is, I feel like many Pacquiao probably feel many Pacquiao and his team probably feel they clearly won the fight. Yeah, yeah, but see, if they would have had it a draw, then we could have been saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, we would have knew it would have been, um, we would have known it would have been a, a, a rematch. Clearly, yeah, a rematch it would have clearly, yeah, it would have had to be a, be a rematch. Rematch! But if Pacquiao, if, if Pacquiao, it's fucked up to say it, but shit, he could, he could really retire after that damn win if he really wants to, but I doubt he's going to do it, you know. I doubt it. I doubt it. Like right now, like he riding on an all time high right now, bro. Hell yeah! Just took that was a big win for Pacquiao. That was a big win, man. Came in the fight, um, almost stopped Thurman. Damn that! I gotta see that round again. I'm surprised Thurman know how to survive. I do not know how he survived that fucking round. What the fuck is calling me? Hold on, I gotta get the charge to this um computer. Man, Thurman, like, yeah, Rita, could you, could you come put the charge in for me real fast? I got 1%, please. All right. All right. Yeah, but people, yeah, but people sleep on Manny Pacquiao, man. I, I think Manny Pacquiao got at least two more fights left in the tank. Manny Pacquiao looked good tonight. It showed me that. I mean, it's obvious that Manny Pacquiao did slow down a little bit, but he's still fast as fuck, man. T-Down said... Well, uh, Mike Kennedy said Pac wants the bag on his next and final fight. He don't want one of the young line. Could you put this uh, computer charger in front of me? I think it is, yeah. Shit, hold on. I mean, sit down. Well, many didn't really say he wanted to win up Earl and Spence. What's that? Oh, my God. That's why I say I don't know, like, I got, I got a, um, that's why I gotta go watch they they post fight. But it, but if you really, the bottom. I'm not I'm not trying to um. I'm I'm not trying to jinx shit, people. But we can't be surprised if Manny Pacquiao go fights like a Amir Khan. Don't be surprised he goes to fight a Khan. Amir like Khan do nothing for him. Amir Khan do nothing for him, bro. I, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say nothing for him. No, Amir Khan. Well. Only how he get the real bag with Amerikan is he go fight over Saudi Arabia or something that way. Manny Pacquiao not going over there, bro. Oh, uh, in the UK? I don't see that. Con, con, regardless of what we say, Amerikan, Con Amerikan versus Amerikan Pacquiao, that's still a mega, that's still a mega fight thing, just off the names, though. This the thing, yeah, but the money for Khan is in Saudi Arabia. You know what I'm saying? With them big ass princes and shit, they got their money over there, so that's why they want the Manny Pacquiao fight. And don't get me wrong, they'll give Manny Pacquiao twenty five million dollars to come fight the Mercado over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They need more than that. I want, I can't just say twenty five million because it's a title on the line now. You know, but yeah, that Pacquiao, right. Pacquiao, Pacquiao stop Con too. But keep going. Yeah, but it it'd be like, um, thank you, Vincent, bro. There still would be like, um. It still would be like, um, who go about a pay per view? That's true. Because, because America ain't go get that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm the not. Film, I, I won't say. I won't no, say. I'm telling like you, bro, listen. It probably America, won't do. It probably listen. It probably won't do high in numbers, <laughs> but it's gonna sell. It's gonna sell. On, on one, what, do feel, what do we feel about America, little one? No, nah, but man. Pay, for us to pay seventy five dollars for many Pacquiao and the Mercon and a nah, they can't, they, they can't, they can't charge seventy five dollars. That's what they can't Listen, do. They, that's what they want to do, bro. 
that's what they want to the, do. If if they do have the fight out here, I don't think it'll do bad. Probably not not well like that, but it ain't gonna do bad though. I don't see it do it bad. If Pacquiao Pac- put a Mercon in that ring after what Terrence Crawford just did to him, it's it's like it does like he'll fuck itself. You know what I'm saying? He'll fuck itself. Because it's easy people be like people be like, what the fuck is Manny Pacquiao doing? Like, like even right now, like niggas still not giving the Mercon no pass. You know what I'm saying? What he did, like he beat Billy Dills, like that shit don't fly for nothing. And you know that, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, with the real hardcore boxing fans. But I still feel like the casuals and American got a lot of fans casuals too. Don't pay for fights though. Man, they the many Pacquiao fights they be cashing out. Come on now. Nah, nah, Mm-mm. not against no American. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really do feel like I'm sorry in the in the other way around. I feel like that fight would do some numbers. Shit. Yeah, nah, bro. I, I promise you, bro. American is nowhere near many Pacquiao mind frame right now. Nowhere near either. Look, he'd rather do a rematch with Keith Thurman than fight Mercon, bro. Yeah, I could, I could see that too. I could no. see that too. Now, I will say this if you would have lost, you know what I'm saying? If you would have lost, then I can say, all right, maybe he'd go whoop a Mercon ass for the bag. You know what I'm saying? But right now, he like, I want to, like, in fact, y'all, arguably, she the number one what's away. You know what I'm saying? Arguably. Mm, mm. That's a oh, I like that one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Like as many yeah. I do know, I, I'll get it twisted. I do know what you're saying. I just can't say that that pack you out. The pack you verse. I don't even know why I'm talking about that fight because I don't, I'm not even interested in that fight. I just can't say it won't do no type of number. That's all I'm saying. No, I know what you're saying, though. Like, it's American. It's like I just got out of a tough-ass fight with Keith Thurman. I know I can whoop American ass, but I know what you're saying with the money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not saying American, it won't draw for as many Pacquiao getting his bag because, you know, his shit going to be up front. Yeah, but it's still not an interesting fight, though. I, I Once I had to think about it, I'm like, ah. Uh... Yeah, like this. It ain't that's the controversy Pacquiao versus Thurman decision, you know. Like, but like I said, I gotta, I gotta go listen to Pacquiao and like what Freddie Roach was saying. Like, you know, Manny Pacquiao got one more fight left if he win this fight. So, like I said, they're trying to get Floyd Mayweather. They're trying to entice Floyd Mayweather like a motherfucker, man. I'm not gonna even lie. That was a pretty good way to entice him. And, and and I'm saying, and with the simple fact of facts telling me what's going on, and with the fact of Manny Pacquiao being the oldest world champion ever in boxing history at the age of 40 years old. 41. 41. Yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? That's big. That's big right there. Do that's Floyd why I can't that. go ahead. Do Floyd see that and say, you know what? I want that title. That's no. true, man. Hey, hey, I ain't think about it like that. And I mean, that is kind of the fighter that most likely Floyd would come out and fight. And and we can't lie, that shit was entertaining than a motherfucker. That bro. shit was so entertaining. Floyd I couldn't even look Floyd in the chat. Floyd can't say that shit ain't have his blood boiling, bro. He can't say he don't miss that shit. I know he you know do. I know for a fact Floyd do. He probably don't like he probably. He probably he probably don't miss the training, you know what I'm saying? He probably don't miss the training, but, but he, he definitely miss the he atmosphere. Don't, he don't miss that atmosphere in them spotlights, bro. Yeah, he do miss it. Floyd being 43, Pacquiao mm-hmm. being 41, I think that's a mega fight. Now that's a oh, man, that's a mega, a mega fight. fight. Floyd come out of like like Pacquiao just beat Keith Thurman, bro. Yeah, that's big. That's big. You know what I'm a lot of people had Keith Thurman that stay number one welterweight, aka a la main man made man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> main man thank me today too. Say, man, money brown, thank you for letting me down easy, man. I appreciate you for letting me down easy, man. I'm like, I want a thermal. Shout out to main man. Shout out to main man. Main man, he having a hard right now. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. <laughs> I know the feeling, main man. I know but the shit. feeling. Agent Brown lost to Madonna, it hurt me hard. 
Well, let me tell you this. Rigo lost to Lomachenko. It hurt yeah, Thur- hard. Main man ain't got to be too mad, man. Thurman went out like a G, man. Yeah, like, like I say, it ain't like Thurman went out there like, well, Adrian Brennan talking about he got cooked. He got cooked. Nah, he ain't get cooked. You know what I'm saying? Just he, because he went down don't mean he got cooked. Nah, he got, see, A A B going to say that man. because – because Thurman said what he said about AB in the Manny Pacquiao fight, you know what I'm that, saying? Yeah, yeah, facts. And now, and, and, and now, you know, not only that, it ain't Thurman, like Thurman was go, wrong though. No, he wasn't wrong. Thurman be saying some real shit. He be talking a lot, but he be saying some real shit. Right, we all said the same shit. Like AB, you didn't let your hands go. You was defensive than the motherfucker. Thurman right. could have easily went in there and been defensive, and you know what I'm saying. But the thing was, he fought he his chances, A.B. He fought and took chances. You know what I'm saying? Way more chances than you took. He you know, arguably won the fight. A.B. didn't arguably won Exactly. Shit. Exactly. Boy, you got your ass whooped. Unanimous decision. <laughs> I, I won that fight. Everybody know I won that fight. What, what they're trying to do is get that money with, with, with Floyd and Pacquiao again. Man, stop yeah, this. Man, you just trying to build up your next fight. Man, that's, all, that's all he doing. But see, see eight. Keith lost a step. It's not the same Keith Thurman. I can't say that, man. I didn't I listen. I think that's bullshit because Keith Thurman, his foot movement was there. He showed good foot movement versus Manny Pacquiao. The snap was there. The accuracy was there. He outlanded Manny Pacquiao. I just feel like, yeah. and it, and this might sound crazy. By me saying this, but in the rematch, I I still favor Keith Thurman. I feel like Keith Thurman to come in the rematch and he'll be make made back out, yo. I feel like he'll make them adjustments to where he won't try to brawl every fucking like he he don't have to. Keith Thurman didn't have to brawl like he brawled in that fight. No, well, he did. He was trying to hurt yeah. made back out. That's what he's trying to do. Say, yeah, I can argue say he fought the wrong fight. You know, and that's what I was saying early on. I was saying. Um, he don't need to sit down and exchange with Manny Pacquiao because that's what Pacquiao want. You yeah, know? he want that, of course. I said, that's if you knock more- out Manny Pacquiao, you got to sit down and exchange with him. And when you sit down and exchange, keep on you leave yourself open for Manny Pacquiao to hit you, bro. You know, so I felt like it, it was times in that fight where I felt Keith Thurman, when he was up in the rounds, loved one, when, we, when yeah. he was up in the rounds, I felt there was times where it, in, in the Maybe a minute or 45 seconds left where Manny Pacquiao was trying to get win on this little hyenas. I feel like Keith Thurman could have boxed in that in that in that point. And you know what I'm saying? Like Mayweather. Mayweather didn't give a fuck how nobody feel. He didn't give a fuck. Motherfucker said it was the most boring fight in the world. But Mayweather mm-hmm. used his head. He didn't get careless. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get careless and he didn't go out there trying to um just slug fest it out. It's like, bitch, I'm going to finesse you and fight my game. And at the end of the day, as long as I say I won in the record books, that's all I care about. And I'm not saying don't entertain the fans, but you got to entertain the fans when it's time to entertain and be smart when it's time to be smart. But that's what what goes. Yeah, but see, when they say entertain the fans, that means they want Floyd to just get hit. That's what the fuck that means. Facts, bro. So right. when he don't get hit, they ain't entertained. So, but I don't give a fuck about all, none of that bullshit. I'm a Floyd too. Shit, we finna get that W. But um, this is but this not now. We gotta talk about Keith Thurman. What's bad for you now, Keith Thurman? Because we gave you a little props. We said how good you look. But it's time for me to get in your ass now, Keith Thurman. You lost to a old fucking Manny Pacquiao, yo. Not only you lost to so old Manny Pacquiao, man. You been calling you been calling this motherfucker out forever. And, and I'm not gonna even and the key thing of my user excuse about, you know, I've been out the ring two years, ring rust, whatever. I'm not buying that shit because Manny Pacquiao being so old like he is, I think that makes it equivalent. So so Keith Thurman, man, I don't you talk about you'll be Errol Spence. You know, a Sean Porter in a rematch. Well, I don't know, man. It, you, you just lost to a, a Manny Pacquiao. 
But but at the same time though, it ain't just like it's an old man Pacquiao, but it's still an eight division world champion. It's still a disciplined man Pacquiao. It's not a Pacquiao that'll be. Well, hold on, hold on, money, but this is key. Shit like that. That's why I said you. You right. You right. But this is Keith Thurman words though. Keith Thurman said. If I lose, it is, that's embarrassing. Okay. Me, me, me losing okay, to a forty-year-old. So uh-huh. I gotta, I gotta use his words against him. Like this is like a little, little T Rex arms. Yeah, jumping in like a rabbit. <laughs> Them T Rex arms was tagging your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keith Thurman was definitely getting tagged, man. And it's it's kind of sad, man, because. All that shit he said about Errol Spence and being number one welterweight and all that bullshit, that's out now. Yeah. Unless he out. unless he come back and get get back on Manny. Yeah. Without a doubt, bro. Now, you know, we got Earl and the Port of September see the winner of that fight and see what goes on. Take out the deputy common word said, I'm going to crucify you. Talking to Manny. <laughs> T-Dow ain't let him off the hook. He say, I'm going to you. I feel you, T-Dow, bro. You know, that's well, a lot of shit, man. But let me ask you a great question, Monty. Uh-huh. Do you feel like his wife played any factor in that fight? Man, it's a possibility, yo. Like, you want to look good in front of the missus, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, not only look good, you you go down the fight, you're going to really try to stop stop this motherfucker now. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yo, yeah. girl, yo, yo, newlywed, yo, newly wife right there watching. Shit, you got knocked down. That's embarrassing as hell. You could tell when you got knocked down, stop, knocked down in the first round. Yeah, exactly. So it's not like, you know, you guys was warmed up into the fight or whatever. No, nah, you got your ass knocked down the first round. First round cause... Keith Thurman got up with that shock, a.k.a. embarrassed look on his face. That nigga Keith Thurman was like, did this nigga Manny Pacquiao really just knock me down? I'm looking at Keith. I'm looking at Keith like, yeah, he did. Now, you're going to have to do something. You're going to have to go in that corner and, and come back and do something, Keith Thurman. Cause you, and you know what? I'm not gonna even lie. As soon as Keith Thurman got knocked down, I was truly anticipating and wanted to know deeply what the fuck Keith Thurman had to answer that. But to my, you know, he recuperated quick to me, though. You know what I'm saying? He did. No, he, no, he, he was never hurt really. Yeah, it was never really hurt. It was really like, more it was like a flash. It was like a flash. like a little flash, little flash. It was like, you know, like it Manny was like a little flash, slash, real knockdown. Manny woke his ass up, pop boom. <laughs> Hell yeah, he woke his ass. No, he woke his ass all the way up. Then he comes out, and I thought Manny got the second round. So I'm going into going to the third. I'm like, oh shit! Said Manny Pacquiao was up damn near three rounds already. See, he is up three rounds because of the knockdown, two two point round. Uh-huh. Then in the third round, I think that was a swing round to me. That's when I, I think Thurman was like, you know what? Fuck that. And he just started throwing all balls to the motherfucking win. He said, fuck that. I'm just gonna go all in on this nigga. I'm not gonna just let. And that's what I respected about Thurman. He showed grit in his fight against Manny Pacquiao. Absolutely. He was trying to knock out Manny Pacquiao in his fucking fight. He was he really wasn't thinking about the judges. He was like, I am trying to stop this man. He really was. He really was. And, and Monty, can we just I mean, can we just give Manny Pacquiao credit for taking all them fucking shots, yo? I was yeah. like Diamond was knocking his motherfucking head back, bro. <laughs> no, he was I was surprised Manny didn't go I down like it. Remember, remember one time in the last thing you on, I'm like, God damn, man, he felt like, remember when, um, I mean, when Sam Ben Score was fighting, bro, and he smacked him in a hearse swing back, and he smacked <laughs> him in a hearse swing. I say, damn, you got that boy looking like he scored Mufasa off Lion King around here. <laughs> I, like, I, yeah. All I seen was Manny Pacquiao head getting snapped back. 
Man, Pacquiao's getting snapped. Back. But it, it, it was times and now, and people keep saying Keith didn't hurt many. Man, Keith hurt many a couple of times. No, nah, but yeah, take advantage of it, bro. And not I only that, he, he, not only that, him, like he, he did just jump on him, bro. Not only that, though, money. We got to sleep. People sleep on the fact that Manny is a veteran. He knows how to play play things off. He knows how to keep the poker face. He knows how to keep a poker face in situations like that. He didn't really show Keith Thurman he was hurt. But hell yeah, some of those punches hurt Benny Pacquiao, y'all. I'm saying it, bro, because Keith hurt him. And then he'll come back and hit him with another big shot. But Manny was not responding. I'm like, damn, Keith, you got him hurt. Ma well, listen, Ma Manny wasn't responding because, number one, Manny was saving all that energy and it showed in the fight. He was saving that energy for the later rounds. Not only he was saving that energy for the later rounds, listen, Keith Thurman was clocking Manny Pacquiao eyes, and Manny Pacquiao didn't want to get hit, so he, he stopped throwing his hand. He stopped throwing so much because Keith Thurman was clocking him. Listen, in the in the middle rounds of the fight, Keith Thurman was beating Manny Pacquiao eyes, yo. In the middle rounds of the fight, now yeah, that's, why, that's why I gotta say I gotta, I gotta go back and watch those okay. because I I seen the highlights and I seen. You know, Manny was out, was kept the certain highlights. I seen Keith was tagging Manny, as I seen Manny tagging Keith as well. And you know, that's why I say I see Keith get off, and mm -hmm. then at the end of the round, you'll just let you'll see him let Manny finish strong. You know what I'm saying? And once you let Manny finish strong, and, and with the crowd yelling for him and the judge is saying that shit, he finishes strong. Sometimes that persuades the judges, especially when there's Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? Oh hell yeah! And it ain't like, it ain't like he just catching you, but he really catching you and shit. They both was they both was knocking each other noodles back, man. I was like, oh shit, this yeah, this man. this is one of them fights that you just. I was on the edge of my seat watching the fight, quiet as fuck. Because I really thought in my head, low key, I'm not gonna even lie. Even though I picked Manny Pacquiao to win, I thought Keith Thurman was gonna low key come back and stop Manny, yo. It felt like it a little bit, didn't it, bro? Hell yeah! I, 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 I I'm telling swear to you, God, like looking at the fight, I'm like, I, he, he stop him, but I at least thought Keith was gonna get that drop back. I really did. I kind of felt like I thought Keith was gonna get that drop back. I'm like, damn, is he gonna end up catching? Because it was times where he was catching his ass and he, he had many on ropes. Yeah, I'm like, damn, he gonna he gonna end up dropping many ass back. Watch. Man, but, when he had many, when he had many on them ropes, I don't know how many. I don't know what kept Manny up because he was tagging many ass on the ropes. See, this man, he fight hit Manny so hard one time, bro. When I seen him hit many so hard, I seen many punches damn stuff in the head twice. Like, come on, I say <laughs> you can't beat no motherfucker like that, man. That motherfucker yeah. punched damn stuff in the head. I said it on the live stream. I say that mother just punched himself in the head two times. Like, come on, like that yeah, mean like, like nigga like. like he telling Keith Thurman, I love that pain. What's what's uh -huh. popping? Like, motherfucker, that's a, that's a helmet head I got, motherfucker. Yeah, I got a chin. And I love when he I love when he did that because that probably got into Keith Thurman head a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Probably like, and I yeah. more than shot he punches damn self in the head two times. Keith Thurman like nigga, that don't that don't hurt. I feel down, T down say, uh I agree, Monty. However, I really um, did think many did more. Yeah, I do too. Like, I got, I got. That's why I say I gotta watch it over, bro. Like, I'm you, know, a, you watch a fight one time, you you think you see what you see, but you miss a lot at the same time. And like I say, I ain't have my volume on, and I'm reading comments and you know things like that. But I'm paying attention at the same time, paying attention enough to know what's going on. And yeah. the, the flow of the fight, and just looking at the feeling, the flow of the fight, you know, you see Manny up, but you see Thurman coming back, but then you'll see like you'll feel like he'll let Manny steal some shit that'll put mm -hmm. Manny up. You know what I'm saying? But it's close to where if the judge is like, you know what? I don't think Manny did enough to steal that round, but by being Manny Pacquiao, they probably feel like, you know what? Manny had a nice rally at the end. He did hit him with some shit, and maybe they forget a little bit what Keith did early on. And Keith could have did more than what Manny did at the end, but it's just like Manny finished strong at the end and Manny jumping and hopping and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Especially when he busts Keith's damn nose open, it's like they feel like Manny mm -hmm. doing real physical damage to Keith Thurman. And, and then I'm I'm telling you, 
Let me make I one did. more. You did watch it without sound, Mike Kennedy. Go ahead, Lamar. Yeah, one more point I just wanted to add to your point. And then, I mean, as much as we hate this, judges really, especially them old motherfucking judges, they really only be remembering the last shit they saw. Like, yeah. mainly remember. And the last shit you saw, the last shit I remember seeing in the goddamn fight was when fucking Keith Thurman was on noodle legs for the for the whole goddamn round. Yeah. So you think the judges don't remember that shit too? And then we got to take this into consideration. This is something else that's deep. Because this is how I had to fight. I think this fight, and I think you might realize this once you rewatch it over, but I feel like the first couple of rounds, the first few rounds are all many. The middle rounds, I think Keith Thurman was beating Manny's ass in those middle rounds. And then the fight really comes down, in my point of view, until, until yeah, the, the last four rounds, the last those eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 rounds. But the main thing you remember in those last four rounds is Keith Thurman being on noodle legs for fucking the whole round, almost getting stopped. That's... So, so, Bay Pacquiao got two 10 8 rounds in this fight, and he won some rounds. So, I don't know. This is definitely a fight we got to watch over. Keith Thurman, in my opinion, he dropped the ball because all the shit he was talking. Yeah, that's my take on it. Yeah, facts, man. I know we get ready to wrap it up because I'm tired as hell, but I'm going to say that it was a hell of a fight. You know, I feel like Pacquiao came out there. You know, the 40 year old man turned back mm-hmm. the hands of times, winning her against the young buck, you know, um, used his aggression against him, knowing that's what he wanted him to do. <laughs> right. He used his uh, shit. Man, and it worked for him, you know what I'm saying? Because once he dropped Keith Thurman, that, 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 that right there, that, 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 you know, that kept the pace of the whole fight. Yeah, man. So yeah, Monty. Wanted his get back, you know. My boy Monty tired as fuck. <laughs> yeah, he wanted his get back, and yeah, it's all good, man. Once you're trying to get that get back, you know, you put yourself in certain situations. Put yourself in danger. And, yeah, and, and shit like this happened, man. Because you get clocked so much, you be like, God damn, did I win that round? You know what I'm saying? Right. And he hit me. He hit me. Let me try to hit him back. You know how Keith Thurman is. He hit me. He hit me. So I'm gonna hit you back, son. You know what I'm saying? To let you know that you didn't win that round. Mm-hmm. But that's how shit happened, man. But like I said, we're gonna see what goes on. We're gonna see if Manny Pacquiao wanna do a rematch with Keith Thurman, or do he want the winner of Porter and, and Earl, or do he want Danny Garcia? You know what I'm saying? Like Manny Pacquiao got options, man. He got options. Manny Pacquiao is one of the cash cows in boxing. You know what I'm saying? So and he is a legend to sit around and say, I can pick who I want to fight. Even we know with the WBA Super, you got no mandatory. So that's a plus on Manny Pacquiao's outside. You know what I'm saying? It's no, it's no mandatory. So we'll just see, man. But I'm tired as fuck, y'all. I just don't know, man. I'm on like three hours of sleep and fucking 48 hours, man. Yeah, that ain't good. That ain't good on nobody's health right there. Yeah, though, but it was a hell of a fight, man, and I enjoyed it like a motherfucker. I enjoyed the entire call, man. Salute to Ugas, too, man, but that's for Oh, that's, yeah. That's, Shout that's out to tomorrow. Ugas, man. Shout out to we'll, we'll come back with that one. Yeah, we're going to definitely, this definitely to be continued, people. But you got some closing words, little one? I'm well, not bad shit. Just follow your boy, love or hate. Low one or hate one. The other page, love or hate fighting drama. The Instagram is... Love or hate combat and drama. Holla at your boy, man. You know me and Monty, we do this shit in our sleep, man. Uh, I don't know, T-Down. That's what I say. We're going to see if you fight the winner, Earl Spence next. I mean, sorry, Earl Spence and Sean Porter. Do we want Danny Garcia? Uh, you know, like Love One said, Merc Khan, even though I said what I said, he's still a, 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 a credible opponent for money. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see, bro. We'll see, but... Appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. I'm going to give me some rest because I really, really need it. And we'll be back tomorrow, man, with all the drama that's about to go on. Like, let's keep Thurman going to feel it tomorrow. Right now, he okay. But tomorrow, he going to feel it. <laughs> Especially at the – and then one more thing. Go ahead, bro. Especially 
all the shit. That's the thing when you talk so much shit, you really feel it when you lose. Yeah, yeah, I feel like AJ so. right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shout out right. to yeah. more, man. I'll fuck with you more, little one. Peace out, families. All right, y'all.